players 20 through 11 revealed last night. Richard Sherman, DeAndre Hopkins, Patrick Peterson, Russell Wilson, A.J. Green, Von Miller, Aaron McDonald, Khalil Mack, Carson Palmer, Ooh. and Josh Norman among them. Ooh. Aaron Donald uh, at 14. So Josh Norman, the highest-ranked corner because there is not another corner who's going to be revealed Ooh. in the top 10. So he's, he's the latest, and I, I guess currently – the greatest. Wow. Do you, do you think he can live up to the hype, Willie? I think he is. I think he has a lot to prove. I think he, he has an issue why the Carolina Panthers did not want to re-sign him or give him the big contract in Carolina. He wants to prove himself like all NFL players. When you go to a new team, you go to a new system, you want to show everybody that you're worthy of that contract and you want to go in and do your part and uh, prove everybody wrong. I like his mentality. I like his attitude. I like his confidence. And a lot of people talk about the system he played in. Well, you got to have great players to play in any type of system. And I think he has a skill set. System didn't make that play right there. (laughs) Exactly. And and I think he has a skill set to go out and continue to get better. Going into his fifth season, if you watch him, he continuously gets better every single year. It seems like the cornerback position has become the new diva position. (laughs) The louder you talk, you can just rise up that top 100 board. (laughs) You're a former DV. Come on, the new diva. He he just played. But but see, Richard Sherman did it, and then he backed it up. Huge body of work. I give Richard Sherman all the credit in the world. And I think Josh Norman has stole a page out of Richard Sherman's book. Now he has to back it up, and I think that's the critical thing. Hey, the Carolina Panthers know everything about uh, Josh Norman that you could know. And they still allowed him to leave and rescinded the franchise tag. And now he has to go in and prove that he can fit onto this team with the Washington Redskins. He's got to play well, but he's got to avoid carrying baggage like what you see here with him to this new locker room, new team, and a new town. Chemistry means everything. When you get the big check and you land yourself on a new roster, you've got to find a way to blend in. And this is the baggage that he's got to leave behind and leave this these types of antics in Carolina and prove that he's more player than he is talk. And, and, I, and I, believe he's, I believe he has done that so far, but I think that's the next phase. I, I see that video, and I can imagine what Redskins fans are thinking right now. He gets to face Odell Beckham, Des Bryant, twice a year. Pretty go. good receivers in Philadelphia. You need that attitude well. in the locker room as well. But, but this is a guy who was cut loose by the Carolina Panthers. Tell us something. Well, maybe, what, what does it tell I, us, though? It, it says that the antics like what you just saw, remember, the Carolina Panthers are building a new called culture. Remember a player like Steve Smith, as great as he was, right. one of the best all-time receivers they ever had. They allowed him to go, and Steve Smith put up a career season the very next year in Baltimore. And so Josh Norman could end up doing the same. I just think it says that the Carolina Panthers have made up their mind of not just what good players they want, but the kind of culture they want in the locker room. And I well. agree with that. you got to have everybody on the same page. Yeah. and. I've also seen other players that had character issues or what people talk about go to different teams and flourish and have great careers and have great years and not have a not have an issue at all. The highest big corner in football right now at fifteen million dollars per year, just the sixth corner after an all pro season to leave his team. Two of those guys, our teammates here and Eric Davis and Deion Sanders, things turned out pretty well for those guys. (laughs)